In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our central monitoring software to de-warp a 180 degree or 360 degree camera. In this example, we're going to use our 5 megapixel 180 degree camera. We have it connected to our test NVR in our facility here. So we're going to go ahead and open our test NVR. We're going to drag the camera into our first channel here. And then we want to make it full screen. Here it looks pretty blurry and that's because it's in the substream mode. So we're going to right click this channel. We're going to go down to stream type and we're going to click the mainstream. It's going to bring it up in mainstream. As you can see, the video is clearer and we can go ahead and start de-warping our video here. So to access this menu, again, I'm just right clicking on this channel. I brought it into full screen and here we can scroll down to fisheye installation mode. And we can see that there's a ceiling installation wall installation or a flat surface installation such as a table, countertop, something like that. In this particular example you can see we have it pointed outside out our front window here and we have it kind of attached to a wall like structure so we're going to go ahead and say that it's installed like a wall. What that's going to do is actually set up the fisheye for different views based on its installation mode. Here we can see we're still in the fisheye mode, so we're going to right click again and then we have different fisheye views. Now this is the complete 180 degree or if you had a 360 degree camera it would be a 360 degree view. And then we, here we have a stretch, this is just going to stretch the camera to full screen and what this is going to allow you to do is to click and drag on the screen to look around the camera's view. So I'm just dragging back and forth here. I'm able to look back and forth with the 180 degree camera. Now if it were a 360 degree camera you would have a lot more range of motion here but I only have this because it's 180 degree. So I'm going to right click again, go down to fisheye mode view again and here we're going to see that it's going to stretch on the left hand side and when we have three squares. So we're going to click this and here we can see it brings up this screen on the left which is our full screen view and then it has a bunch of different views here and they are color coded. As you can see this one's blue, this rectangle is blue down here. We scroll back over here, we highlight over the yellow portion, it's going to highlight the yellow portion of video and then if we scroll over the green it's going to highlight the green portion. Red is just the whole view. So here on the blue we can move this around any which way we want to and it's going to give us that view. Yellow we can do the same. This is totally customizable. I can move these to any way I want. So we're just going to keep it down here because we care about the right hand side and the left hand side of the parking lot and then we might want to get a little view of the sh street here with our blue so we're going to do that. And keep in mind you can also save these views using the Smart PSS View Saver um, but that is covered in another video. So we're going to right click and go back down to fisheye view again. Here we can see there's another different way of doing this and we can check, check it out. All right, so we've clicked that view. It's brought it up here. Now we have four different colors going on. We have blue, green, yellow again, and then we also have a magenta color. And again, we can click on these different areas and modify them as such. About these views, get a little bit of that. And we'll scroll up here for a little bit of that. All right, so now we've saved that. We've gone ahead and created our view here. It's just another way of orienting the fisheye camera lens. And then we'll go down here to fisheye view to the final one. Now this one is going to have the full frame in the middle, and then all of the squares around it are going to be adjustable. So it's going to give us about eight different ways to customize this camera. So here we have green, blue, yellow, light blue, light green, orange, red, and finally magenta. And we can adjust each individual one of these views. Now notice there is a boundary that it will give you, so you can't go too far beyond that boundary to left, but in the camera view itself, it's still giving you that angle. And then we have the magenta, the dark red, orange, light green, light blue, yellow, and blue. So hopefully this video helps you utilize your 180 degree or 360 degree camera in live view. Now keep in mind you can also go into playback and de-warp the 180 degree or 360 degree cameras. So in order to get to the playback screen we're going to click the plus button at the top of the software. It's going to bring us to the main menu. 
Here in the second section here we can see search and under search we have playback. It's going to take us to the playback screen. Here we can see we have our test NVR again so we're going to go ahead and hit the arrow key to bring this up and we have our IP camera. We're going to just click that and then we have our date and time set for today where we've recorded the video. I'm going to click the search button. Here we have our, our four camera grid view and we see down here in our timeline we do have some continuous recording today for this camera. So we're going to click on that. It's going to bring it up on the screen here and then to bring this to full screen we can double click it. It's automatically brought it up in the mainstream but you can of course go down here and search for substream if you want to use the substream or if you don't have the mainstream recorded for that period of time. Anyway we've got our mainstream and full screen here from our playback video. We're going to go ahead and right click and here again you can see we can set the fisheye insulation mode. Uh, this is the ceiling mode, wall mode, or on a flat surface or countertop mode. Again we have this set up as though it were installed on a wall pointed outside. So we're going to select that. So as you can see it adjusted it slightly and what that does again is changes the options that are available and how they look for the fisheye mode or fisheye view. So here we're going to just scroll down into fisheye view again. We have some of the same options or actually the same options that we had in the playback mode. Again these are going to vary based on your fisheye installation mode and if your camera is a 180 degree camera or a 360 degree camera or if it's a panoramic camera you may also have some other different options here. Now you can see this is going to bring into full screen and again we can pan and on the second one, this is again going to have the same regions that it had in playback. We have the green region, blue region, yellow region, and we can modify them as such. Same goes for the next view. We have the four regions. It added the magenta region on the bottom right, and we can adjust that one and adjust the others as well. And then finally, we have the eight different views with the center view here, and of course we can adjust each of these individually as well. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.